Dave Street Juice Liverpool. Um, I do a talk on subliminal mind control and the spiritual war on humanity, in particular in media, uh, advertising, films, television, etc. etc. Before I go into that, there's just a couple of things I want to tell you about which you may not be aware of. Uh, continuation of the my saga with those, well, I feel criminal Scottish power, right? And also the benefit system, if anybody's on benefits, right, be aware of this. Right, Scottish power have um, decided in their wisdom to class my address as de-energised. What that means is I can't go to any other power supplier other than them for uh, electric or gas. I rang up uh, Southern Electric Monday and they said, yeah, yeah, we'll take you on, blah, blah, blah. You know, talking about problems with Scottish power and I've got no meters in the house and so on and so forth. And um, he went, whoa, you're de-energised. <laughs> I thought, I do feel a bit knackered, like, but... <laughs> um, if I'd have been a live account, it took five weeks to swap over to them. If it had been disconnected, they could have done it almost immediately the next day. If it, it, but it's not, I'm de-energised. Right, that means I've got to go to Scottish Power for my supply of anything. Look it up on the internet, interesting thing. My benefits, we're all getting battered by Atos, those who are on um, sickness benefits. We're all getting battered by Atos. Um, Cut a long story short, they stopped my money four weeks ago, right, because I didn't go to their medicals. Now, <clears throat> I went last week and said, please, 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 can I have a crisis loan? Right, so they give me a crisis loan. It was that, that was uh, nine days ago. And, it's, um, and I put an appeal in for the decision of stopping them, me money, right, and um, I went back again today. I got a note off my doctor, right, anyway, um, put in for the crisis loan again, and was, uh, I also spoke to Burnley BBC, which is Pittman Way Preston, uh, which is dealing with the incapacity benefits. Um, they said, ring us back in three hours, three, uh, four hours later, rang back, nothing had been done. Right, nothing. So they, they made an appointment at 20 past two this afternoon to go in for, to beg on my hands and knees for a crisis loan, which, believe me, it's degrading. It really is degrading. Anyway, um, she came back down an hour later and said, Sorry, we can't offer you anything. But did say, We can give you food stamps if you want. Oh. Now I remember my nan telling me about food stamps and food kitchens and all the rest of it. Thought all those days had disappeared. It seems that thanks to the Labour Party and the current administration that they're all back again. But anyway, that's I'll just to bring you up to date on that. Now this this talk I'm gonna be as fast as I can because I've only got about an hour, haven't I? I'm gonna go as fast as I can, uh, but I need to start off with this. I think there's one or two seen this talk before. Have you seen it? Who's not seen this talk? Nobody's seen it. Oh, good. <laughs> right, okay, well, um, I, I need to read, read this. Has anybody heard of the Illuminati Covenant? Right, yeah. there's a few people. Right, the, put your hands up those who haven't seen the Illuminati Covenant. So, uh, you haven't. The Illuminati, but what no, the Illuminati, the secret Illuminati Covenant. Covenant. No. Right, okay. Covenant. Right, okay. This is an email which was found about five, six years ago. Right, it uh, came through to somebody's uh, email box and <coughs> it was anonymous. There was no return address to it or anything. I'm going to read it because this particular talk and what Rob does and what everybody else is doing all over the country, right, this is going to explain everything to you what's going on. Right. An illusion it will be, so large, so vast, it will escape their perception, 
those who will say it will be thought of as insane. We will create separate fronts to prevent them from seeing the connection between us. We will behave as if we are not connected to keep the illusion alive. Our goal will be to accomplish one drop at a time so as to never bring suspicion upon ourselves. This will also prevent them from seeing the changes as they occur. We will always stand above the relative field of their experience for we know the secrets of the absolute. We will work together and always and we will remain bound by blood and secrecy. Death will come to him who speaks. We will, uh, we will keep their lifespan short and their minds weak, which is what this talks about, right? uh, while pretending to do the opposite. We will use our knowledge of science and technology in subtle ways so they will never see what's happening. We will use soft metals, aging accelerators, sedatives in food and water, also in the air. What a lovely day it's been today with all those wonderful camel trails everywhere. They will be blanketed by poisons everywhere they turn. The soft metals will cause them to lose their minds. We will promise to find a cure from our many fronts, yet we will feed them more poison. The poisons will be absorbed through their skin mouths and we will destroy their minds and reproductive systems. From all this, their children will be born dead and we will conceal this information. The poisons will be hidden in everything that surrounds them, what they drink, eat, breathe and wear. We will be ingenious in dispensing the poisons, for they can see far. We will teach them that poisons are good, with fun images, common, don't worry, and musical tones. They will, those they look up to will help. We will enlist them to push our poisons. We will see our products being used in films, and will grow accustomed to them, and will never know the true effect. When they give birth, we will inject poisons into the blood of their children and convince them it's for their help. We will start early on when their minds are young, we will target their children uh, with what children love most, sweet things. When their teeth decay, we will fill them with metals that will kill their minds and steal their future. Everybody knows what the term Mercury does. When their ability to learn has been affected, we will create medicine that will make them sicker and cause all the other diseases for which we will create yet more medicine. We will render them docile and weak before us by our power. They will grow depressed, slow and obese, and when they come to us for help, we will give them more poison. We will focus their attention toward money and material goods, so they may never connect with their inner self. We will distract them with fornication, external pleasures and games, so they may never be at one with one of it all. Their minds belong to us and they will do as they say, as we say. I'm going to finish that there because it goes on a few more paragraphs and I ain't got much time. It's called The Secret Illuminati Comedy. You want to have a read of it. It's so uh, important. Anyway. Dave, can you, can you catch? Catch. the sweets to sell in Asda. Let's hold that man a fish. <coughs> yeah. Some of the cults. Build a burger. Build a burger. Build a burger. Oh, sorry. <laughs> right. Now, it's not my wish to offend anyone here tonight. Right? I'm not sexist, I'm not racist or anything like that. Okay? So I want to get that through. But, these images I'm going to show you are very nice. Now, I'm, I'm going to mention a website that's up there. Right? Start, when I seen it, and seen the website, I burst out laughing but it played with me mind and I didn't realise it was before I went on it to have a look what it was. If I was to say to you, www.bigbustycoons, what would you say? Big one. Big, 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 big Let's have a look. Big black man. Everybody see that? Big bus tycoon. Big bus tycoon. It's a coach company. They hire buses out to like the Labour Party, the Conservative Party when they're going on there. You know, driving around the country trying to advertise yourselves. That's a subliminal, right, obviously. Um, but it's not that subliminal. What I'm going to get into now is far more sinister than that. Right, where are we? Everybody know what that is? Chakras. Yeah, your chakras. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not a medium, I'm not a, a clairvoyant or a healer or anything like that. But with many of the talk, talkers that I've had on, have convinced me 
that we have a number of chakras in the body and outside the body and they vibrate at different uh, frequencies. You've got your, your, root chakra, your root chakra, which is all about fear and all about reproduction, going up to your heart chakra and love affection, going straight up to your um, third, eye. third eye and, and beyond. Right? What seems to be happening, or appears to be happening, or is happening, is this root chakra is um, being activated constantly with advertising what we're talking about. We'll come back Sorry about this, PowerPoint and all that. Spiritual war on humanity, including advertising films, music, television and radio. Uh, it's going to be a three parts this tour. Right. Uh, this is my truth, by the way. Anybody see that? Or when I know to free hate to serve, serve no one. That's a subliminal message. Anybody pick it up what it is? It's a phone number, isn't it? It's a phone number, is right. O one I no. O when I O one nine O oh. two three K eight two seven O oh, one. It's a telephone number. That's that's your now your conscious mind work that uh, your conscious mind didn't work it out, right? But your unconscious mind does. It knows, sees everything. It works a lot faster and in different ways. Now, we look at entertainment, have a look at the word, because we're looking at words with, le with this legal jargon, aren't we? Like, so parents, what does parent mean? You know, we know what rent is, it's something you have to pay. What does par mean? Par is stock. So you have to pay the government your taxes to keep your child. That's why you're a parent. Uh, entertainment is to go into, contain, of the mind. So they're putting some, something in, contain it within your mind. That's what the word entertainment means. Right, below the threshold of conscious perception, use of stimuli, inadequate to produce conscious awareness, but able to evoke a response. So when I said to you, big busty tycoons, Right, or big bussy coons, you automatically thought it was black women with large breasts. Right, it evoked a response, but it wasn't. It was about a coach company. Now, here's a subliminal picture. This is uh, Obama. It's one of Obama's um, what do you call them? Promotional photographs. Right, I'm going to point the subliminals out on this. You might not see them right now, but hopefully by the, by the end of the first part of the presentation, and I'll go back to it, you will see it. Just here is a penis. Just there. If the camera can zoom in onto, onto that, just there. Obviously, we can guess what this is. Up here is a letter M, McDonald's style. Up here is another penis. Across here is the word sex, which you might not see just yet. Right, but hopefully by the time the presentation is finished, you'll be able to see them all. So where was the first penis? Sorry. On his head. On and on. On and on. On and on. Right, these people who design packaging like this, and create our music for our kids to listen to, and create films like Disney, right? Our magicians and the sigils in those films, the music and packaging, that's energy transferred into that. That I go more to, more into in the second part of the talk. Right? Anybody see that? Anybody see anything? That shouldn't be there in that image. No, not counting you all. <laughs> Anybody see a three letter word in that image? Yeah, I've seen it before. Uh, well, those who haven't seen it before. Yeah. Just, just yeah. concentrate on it for a few seconds. And as it comes into your awareness, just put your hand up like you're quiet. Okay, I've got to roll because uh, I don't want to run out of time. Right, I'm going to speed it up a bit. There you go. Anybody not see a three-letter image there now? 
So you're not sick. You take it away again. It's in red. Or sex, yeah. Go back. There you go. Can you see the word sex now? Yeah, yeah. Can everybody see the word sex? Yeah. Isn't it amazing when you first see it in white, you didn't see it, but as soon as I go like that, bang, there you go. That's a subliminal image. Right, and there's the two of them side by side. Ha! Anybody see? Anything that shouldn't be there. Yeah, that's the uh, penis, early, and yeah. I think it's St. Francis's Assisi's ring that they were all the peasants were kissing. I think that the image is from. Oh. It's hundreds of years old, anyway. Advertising. <coughs> advertising. Any advertising in tonight? Good, because I was only going to tell you to go and kill yourself. <laughs> uh, advertising. I spent. And blue chip chain, blue chip chain <coughs> in uh, marketing. Um, uh, a lot of my life has been spent in sales and stuff, and I went to get blue chip train in marketing, and they use sneaky techniques. Everybody noticed that the supermarkets always send you around anti-clockwise. Anybody noticed that? Apart from one or two, right? There's a reason for that. I won't go into the depths of that. Uh, there's also a reason why all the sweets are down there. There's also a reason why all the main brands are there, that, that level. Right? Um, that's so you buy them. Now, that's a sneaky way. Also, they have lighting, a light, different type of lighting. Have you ever gone to the supermarket got a piece of meat? Oh, that looks nice. Take it home, got it back, it's brown. It's because of the light, different types of lesson lighting that they're using. Right, it is, uh, makes things look fresher than what it is. Um, now, this is Super Mario. Uh, this is a children's game. I don't know what age it's aimed at. I think it's probably five to eleven, is it? Anybody, anybody got kids who got this game? Yeah, yeah. That's right. right. Anybody spot anything on toward there in a subliminal image? Now, this is on a different level than the first one that you've seen. Or the first couple. They do it in sneaky ways. Your unconscious mind sees everything instantly. Your conscious mind then starts to work things out to see if there's a threat. And your conscious mind work and your conscious mind runs at 25.9 frames per second. Anything faster than that, you won't see it. But your unconscious mind sees everything instantly. I'll give you an example. I'm talking to you now, right, you're listening to, to me, and you're breathing. Now, until I bring your attention to it, you, 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 your breathing just ran out. Your conscious mind was always aware of you, right, breathing away, but your, unco uh, sorry, your unconscious mind was always aware, but your conscious mind ignored it because it didn't see it as a threat. Now, we're going to this one here, Super Mario, and we have a look under the U, there's a star. Can you see that? Yeah. Right, and under the R, there's another star. Under the M, under the R, under the G, under the A, and under the Y. That spells Mr. Gay. You are Mr. Gay. And that's going into your children's heads unconsciously. Some might spot it, some might not. But what's that putting into your child's head? Right, go cat. Anybody got a pussy cat? Mm -hmm. I have got a pussy cat. Do you ever buy it that? Yeah. Uh, have you ever seen anything come to world subliminal on there? No. Because you weren't aware that they were doing it to you. They're hiding it in plain sight. Right? They're poisoning your minds. If we have a look here. On the torso, that's a letter S. If you can, anybody yeah. see it? Yeah. Can anybody not see it? Right. Okay. And if you have a look there, there's a bar, another bar, another bar, and another bar going down. And that says E. Can you see that? Anybody see the letter E? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. And there, very faint, is a line, and another line with the X. Sex is on that. I 
didn't bring the actual box with me. I know we bring the box, right? Anybody, can anybody see that word sex now? Mm. Put your hand up, give us a clue. You can see it, great. Anybody not see it, would you agree that it is there, it's just that your perception of hasn't grasped it yet? Right, can you accept that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's actually there. But if you didn't see it on the first one, it's not a very good um, photograph there. Can you see it now? Mm. Yeah? Okay. Right, this is another part of the box, which is the corner, right? If you have a look here, there's the E. Yeah, can everybody see the E? Mm. And if you have a look here, there's an S, but it's cut short. Can, can you yeah. see that? Yeah. 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 It seems all the further away that you are, you should be able to see it better. Um, here, it's not very, it's not very good yeah. because I'm too close. There's, a, there's an X there. So we're getting a pattern here. There's sex involved and willies. <laughs> right, it's actually there. You can see it there. Right. <coughs> right. Anybody like Magnus Cider? Yeah. Have a look at that, please. And think, why did Magnus Cider come on the market just like that? And if within weeks, people were buying it, well, nearly nobody had ever heard of it before. But everybody was buying Magnus Cider. Why? That was on a bus stop outside the school. <laughs> right? Now, can anybody see anything going toward in that picture? I don't like that. No? Have you seen any of them yet? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. What I want to do is say concentrate on the ice cubes. In that image, there are four penises. And they're, they're disguised in the ice cubes. Now, first of all, have you seen ice cubes that shape? Yeah, I know. but for that, it's ominous. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Take a bit of train. <laughs> well, let me show you, let me show you. But I'm, going to be, I'm going to be graphic with my words, right? And we wish it not to offend anyone. It's just to enlighten you so that you can see these things yourself and start writing to the bloody companies who will put them in front of, you, in front of your face, put them on advertising holders, outside schools, on bus stops, poisoning our children's mind. Why do you think kids are growing up uh, and becoming sexually active long before they should. Right, here, there, is the head of the penis. That there is the foreskin. And here is the eye. Can anybody accept that? Mm -hmm. Anybody not accept that? Please don't feel free if you can't see it. No, you see. Can you see it, right? <coughs> right, here is one coming in from the right. Very faintly there you can see the shape of the penis head and there's the shaft, right? That's number two. Number three is here, right? But it's the sky, it's hidden by this here, right? Now, there's the, there's the foreskin and there's the head. But it's just the rest of it's disguised by this. And there's another one there, but I just have a look at that image. Now, do you believe that's a photograph? That is a photograph of the advert, by the way, which I took. But does anybody believe that that is an actual photograph of a glass of cider and a bottle? It's not. It's been drawn by an artist. Very good artist. Can I ask you a question? Certainly, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, are you suggesting that the old band picture would be Photoshop? Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah, the Photoshop, I mean. But this, this, this image is... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why, would, yeah. Why, would penis why would a penis make you buy cider? As I said, it's all about energies. What they're keeping you in is your lower chakra energy. Um, um, what you, I mean, I go into deeper on the second part of the talk. Yeah. Well, the only time I've got now is to say, right, here's the images. Can you see them? Can you not see them? Right, and then we'll go into why these images are, are like this. And the NLP part of it behind that um, and
film and, and well, and it's just, I'm just showing you the image so you can go, next time you see an advert, you'll look at it in a different way and go, bloody hell. Hopefully yeah. by in the morning when you get your breakfast out, your cornflakes, you'll be looking at it going, bloody hell, look at that. <laughs> that's, that's the idea. So it's getting you aware, I'm making you aware of it so that you can notice it and then saying, disgusting, filthy little toe rags, I'm going to bring this company up and say, what the hell are you playing at? According to the Advertising Standards Authority, according to the Department of Trade and Industry, and according to the trading standards, there are no such things as sublim subliminal images. Okay, according to them, they don't exist. Mm -hmm. Now, can you see it a bit better now? Okay. Now, this is, we get sinister, this, we get sinister now, right, because these are actual images, right, that are going out all over the place, and <coughs> people are walking around and not, this is an American one, obviously, right, and people are walking around because they're desensitised to this stuff, that they don't respond to it anymore. Now, if you've seen that, if you've seen that outside your school, you would respond because we aren't as desensitised as the Americans, but it's getting that way very soon we will become that. Here's a bottle of water. I always carry this this uh, bottle with me, right? Um, this is from the German company Aldi, or I'm not sure where they are, right? Um, this has the word sex three times on it, and five or six penises hidden. Right, let me point them out to you. Penis. Penis. Testicles. Penis. Penis. Ejaculations. Right. Alien creature. Um, the word sex is there. Can, if you can see it, please. It's in three different colours. The word S is in white. The word E is in dark blue and white at the bottom. And the word X, or the letter X, when I say word, I mean letter. The letter X, yeah, the right hand side is in blue, yeah. and the left hand side is in white. Please come and have a look at this bottle at break time, and you'll see. Well, you've got to, you've got to, you don't like those pictures, what do you call them? You know where there was dots all over them, and you stare at them. Magic eye. Magic eye pictures. That's what's, that, that's what's going on here. Um, right, there's a word sex here. There is, there's also a man there somewhere, in the way, there he is, a pair of sunglasses, nose, mouth. See that? Yeah. Sorry for me, look at it. And there you go, there's all the sexes and penises and that all that. Okay, I've just coloured one of them in there, so I guess he's... Now, some people go... Maybe stretching a bit too far on this one, but I don't think I am, because I know what marketeers are all about. Seriously. Um, this is Dr. Ocker by Carmen, so there you can go in Aston and buy it, or anywhere else. Now, have a look at this part here. Some people say it looks like a bum, right? but I don't think it is. Right? Now, if I separate the right from the left, that looks like a strangely coloured penis to me. Now, any, can anybody, anybody disagree with that? Yeah. yeah. Some people say it, some people don't, and some people you see, you're stretching it too far there. Yeah. Okay. Now I'll look at it again and go, maybe it's, maybe it's got willies on it now. Right? Right, okay. Yeah, hair glasses. Um, anybody see the subliminal there? Anybody not see it? It's disgusting. It's disgusting. Who goes to the hairdressers to get the haircut and picks up a magazine with this sort of stuff in all the time? You go into these hairdressers and they've got the... They're all over the plate the place. You pick up the mag and you get the images like that. Right? Now, I don't know whether you can see from that distance. Well, here we've got the letter S, there we've got the letter A, yeah, yeah, yeah. and there's the X. Yeah. Can you see that? Yeah. 
Those who can't, it's yeah. you're too far oh, away, please come up. Have a look. They're everywhere. It's all sex, willies, women's bits. <laughs> women's bits, but not the boobies. Right? Disney. Disney sinister, that's, that, that comes in the second world. Right, okay, so you're taking your kids to the hairdresser on a Saturday because your husband's gone for a pint and your kids are seeing this. There's, this is an old advert uh, from the 50s, I think it is. Um, here is the word sex. Can you see that? Yeah, yeah. Anybody not see it? Girls, come, from, come forward a bit. Are you too far, is it, are you too far away? No, no, son. Okay, all right, because I don't want you missing any of this because it's everywhere, believe me. <laughs> right, there's the sex there, right? Uh, the, who smokes? Right, get packets of Amberleaf, the yeah. one with the baby on it, right? Where the smoke is coming down, right? And in the smoke, the superiors and the word sex coming out of the baby's mouth. Your government is putting those labels on those cigarette packets. The government. Smoke coming out of the baby's mouth. Smoke coming out of a baby's mouth and with the word sex and two penises coming coming in front of its face like that. That's your That's innuendo anyway, isn't it? The tagline. Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, of course. Blow in her face. Yeah. Listen, Brian. Oh that's the tip of that. <laughs> tip of that. Yeah. Never thought of that, Rob. Yeah. So, um, I mean, any of you lads out there try blowing into a smoke a girl's face and see what happens. Whack! <laughs> She's not going to come at you like that, is she? There's other subliminals in her hair here as well, but I haven't pointed them out. Crunchy rocks. Hey, hey, here we go. Bag of crunchy. Anybody see anything there? Sorry. Give me a clue the word sex is on the, in, on the wrapper. And once you see it, you'll go, bloody hell, you'll never see any. Every time you go out and buy a bag of them or go to the shop, you'll see that word sex and you'll say, excuse me, love, what's that? I actually pulled up the Mars wreck in Asda and he said, I don't know what you're talking about. He said, I can't see that. I said, get out of here. Get out of Right, and it says, what's it say? Share that Friday feeling. Right? Now, I'm not going to go into the subliminals regarding 2012 because you already know that. Right, and the other things, the stars and, and all that. But, let's see if you can see it now. Can you see it now if the image is bigger? No, you probably won't. Yeah, I can. Uh, Good. Uh, yeah. Can you see it now? Yeah. Right, let's go back to again. That was the 2012, what did you want? What's about that? Zion. Oh, Zion. With the Zion. little thing oh, in the middle. Oh, Zion. Zion, but we won't go into that. No, is it because of the little dots in the middle of the 12? Well, no. you have a letter with the letter on. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah. 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 I O L. Oh, yeah. Zion. Yeah. It's a uh, young girl. Uh, giving Felicia with her boyfriend as well. Have you seen that one? It's Lucy no, Simpson. Lucy Simpson. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry? Sorry? Yeah, Zionists are not Jewish people. I'm not. No. Yeah, Zionists are not Jews. They may be Jewish people, but they're not Jews. I thought Zion was a place. Zion is a religion. Israel, isn't it? Is it? Well, yeah. yeah. Um, and there are Christians. Zionists uh, heard the recently. Oh, well, let me, get, let me tell you, this is, this is a fact. This is on. Uh, I put this um, image on TNS radio last year um, in Israel. Uh, all lodges of Freemasonry were chaired by a Greek Orthodox Jewish Muslim um, and some other religion. He was all four religions, right? And he took over, he took over all the, he's Grand Master of all the lodges in Israel. Go on to TNS site and have a look at the images, you'll see it. It's, photo, it's a photograph with an article about it. But this isn't Freemasonry, so let's get back into it. Can, can we all see that now? Yeah. Can you see it at the back, girls? No, still not convinced, okay. Right, Marlborough Country. Right. That's self explanatory. Yeah. <laughs> So's my cat. Right, Skittles. Skittles. Have a look. Can you see it now? Yeah, straight away. Can you see it? Can you 
Yeah. Sex explosion. Yeah. Do you reckon yeah. you see that? Yeah. Sex explosion. Yeah. Yeah. Aim that children four or five years old again. You know. Get them while they're young. <laughs> Do you think that tomato sauce coming off that bottle? Yeah. Does it look like a tongue to you? Because yeah. it sure looks like a tongue to me. Does it look like a photograph? Yeah, it does look like a photograph, but it's not. It's an artist's impression of a photograph. And he's put that on. And these people pay a fortune to get these labels right so that they're just beyond your conscious awareness. Mm -hmm. or create a stimuli in your unconscious mind. Mm -hmm. Could you not complain about that? I've seen that. I'm sick to death of complaining to these people about this. Can you not complain to advertising agencies? I just, as I said, I rang up the Advertising Standards Authority, mm -hmm. the Trading Standards and the Department of Trade and Industry, and all of them said subliminals do not exist. Why is that? Could it be that our MPs have got shares in these companies? Could it be? Yes, sir. Maybe we need plain packaging. Sorry? Maybe we need plain packaging. Yeah. We do. Absolutely. We do. Absolutely. But it's not just that. It goes, goes into TV advertising as well, which is part two. Here's another one. Anybody, this is years. This, I remember this advert in the 70s, and I don't know why I remember it, because I started smoking beds in the edges when this advert was out. <coughs> it tells you what I was thinking at the time. Anybody see anything? If you got crushed in the clinch with your soft pack, try our hard pack. And he's got a very suggestive look. He's looking at you like that. Mm. Now, in my, in my way of thinking, the way I know advertisers, and the way I know what the whole game plan is due to this, is the whole breakdown of the family unit and keep you in a lower uh, frequency chakra in fear and sex mode, right? I'm thinking that advert is promoting homosexuality, right? Because if you got crushed in the clinch with your soft pack, try our hard pack, he's holding your penis there. Oh yeah, he is. Right? And he's not really interested in here. He's thinking I want to have a go with you. Yeah? yeah? Anybody just? That's yeah. why looking at you, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you can see that. I've got the kind of body that makes men wet. You know what I mean? I think for uh, advertised cigarettes, aren't you? Go can you see it back. now? Yeah. Can you see it at the back? Yeah. yeah. She's got a cockeyed back. <laughs> right, here we go. Uh, she's got a stiff back there. Auntie Anne's. Auntie Anne's. Denmark, with the 666 on the label as well. That's another thing I haven't gone into on this talk, which I'm creating another talk to go in on the esoteric and satanic things that are going on within these adverts as well. Right, this is a juicer. I've just give this away actually. I bought this in Lidl's last January, I think it was, may have been before. No, 12 months January. Um, and I instantly seen the, um, the subliminal straight away. Uh, that's not why I bought it, I actually went in to buy one. Because uh, I wanted to lose weight. I used it twice and thought, sod this, there's too much else. <laughs> but can anybody see anything subliminal in that one? I'll give you a clue. Have a look at the pair. Yeah, it's like bending or like... Have a look at the pair. Have a look at the lighting on the pair. The shape of the flash on the pair. Yeah. Have a look at the very faint but highlighted green and yellow line on the opposite side on the green. Yeah. And follow it up and have a look at the shading here. Can you see it now? Everybody, can anybody not see that? Good. There you go. It's a bigger picture of it. Can you all see that now? There's, there's, a, there's no reason for that to be there. Because the light on that side is from there. Isn't it? Right? So you've got there. Comes out there. And you've got your, the head.
Oh, can you know, can somebody, if you can't see it, please put your hand up. <sighs> now it says dollars there, but it was actually £4.99, I think it was, in England last year. You know, it'll blow your mind away. BK Super 7 inch. Yeah. Again, I would, they, 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 it's all kid stuff, this. This is all bang, you know. A lot of this is aimed at your children. It's not subliminal, it's into your face. Absolutely, absolutely yeah. But. What are the phrases? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I never said that. But you that's, noticed that, that that's immediately. A, that's a bad, is that pornography? Somebody tell me it's not pornography. It is. Somebody tell me that that one is not pornography. Mm -hmm. Why didn't we get on the phones to bloody Burger King when that was out and say, what the hell do you think you're yeah. doing? What do you do, poo poisoning my child's mind with this? And getting on the phone over Skipple saying, you bastards. Real image. Yeah, it's in America, that one. Mm -hmm. I think if I'm not mistaken, it's outside Disney World or maybe inside Disney, who knows. Right. <laughs> Can you see that? I remember you asking me about the bag before. Can you see that there? Yeah. This is, this is a, um, this is Minchin and Butler, a brewery. Right, you probably got one near, near um, this is going back to last year, spring and summer, their main, their menu. Right, lots of pretty pictures of food and all that, but that's on the front page. Anybody see anything Hunter Ward on that? It's like a face in the smoke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there is, yeah, but there's other things going on there. Lots of zeds. Lots of zeds. Chips. Well, let me just zoom in a bit and maybe you can tell me. Maybe you can tell me when I don't tell you. Yeah. What's that? What, what is that? Do you think it's a sausage? Does that look like a willy head and a chef? Yeah. Do you get sausages like that? No. Well, on that menu, it says nowhere about have a chicken and sausage, because <laughs> it's all chicken, right? Nothing to do with sausage there. There's no meal on there that says chicken and sausage. Um. Criminal bloody swines. Mm. Candies.com. <laughs> television. Advert on television as well in uh, women's magazines. Mm. That gets flashed. Oh, oh God, I, 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 I'm going to make you see the 118 advert where they look like someone does it, right? Haha, -ha, here's an interesting one. Right, Dolce & Gabbana. Now this, I don't know what magazine this has been in, but it could be a Sunday supplement, it could be an OK, it could be the chat or any of those cosmopolitan that you girls tend to buy. Right, now what's going on here? We've got somebody on the knees here. Right, he's kneeling down in front of this guy who's just dropped his kex. And we've got another guy here, right, looking up here somewhere, right, in anticipation. That looks to me as though that's a subliminal, suggestive gay sex scene about to occur. Mm -hmm. Anybody disagree with that? Think mm -hmm. I'm stretching it? Mm -hmm. But they quite often promote that stuff. Of course. Yes. And this gay thing is being, being getting. And I'm not having a go at homosexuals in any way whatsoever. Mm. But we've seen the increase in the amount of gay people over the last 30, 40 years. It's just gone. Whew. I I knew one gay lad at school. One. Right. Okay. Now I think. Well, well, they're watching it as if it's fashionable, aren't they? I mean, kids are well, yeah, but because they're easily programmed. We are easily programmed. I'll show. I mean. If you want to see how easy you're programmed, try and remember this. The Stanford Prison Experiment. It's on YouTube. Right? Stanford Prison Experiment. Watch it. It's 20 minutes long. It's about a professor who wanted to do a social study on what people would be like put into certain different um, 
scenarios, right? And this was a prison. So they hired part of the university in Stanford, a room probably this size, right? Um, divided in four cells. So four people went as prisoners and four people, these are all volunteers by the way, four people went as um, prison officers. Plus the professor who was organising the um, scenario, he was the governor. They had to stop it after four or five days because people were getting beaten up. The, the inmates were getting beaten up. And these people, all of them were students who were all friends before they went into it. But because one had a truncheon and an official suit and the other one had uh, overalls with arrows on, right, after four, four or five days, it was just, it was, they were going to have riots and everything, it was unbelievable. So the professor, he, he even got um, caught up in the role as well, so they had to stop it. So if you want to know how easy program we are, watch that. It doesn't is take long. Is that one of Dr. Kinsey's experiments? I have no idea. And he was the sex man, wasn't he? Jails doing all yeah, that but he was the sex guy, wasn't he? And he Didn't writes he? kids' books now, teaching yeah. kids how to yeah. do filthy things. Yeah. This is a book. It's, a, it's like the prince, uh, you know, where uh, the young lads now, and it's again, some art, just that look pathetic. But you know where they were, the keck straight down here in the belt. But that was introduced in the US prisons for inviting yeah. to have sex That's with right. them. But so I've them all around showing their undies and stuff now. I've seen young a young lads, kid. Aren't they? Oh, but the yeah. young children are doing it, aren't they? The I've seen a young girl the walking down the road today, about 13 years old, dead tight, whatever they are. We, Juicy, juicy across the best. Well, that's the name of Juicy Couture, and it's a company in Juicy Couture. Uh, yeah, but oh, yeah. yeah, but that's I was saying that's like you said the statements of the fashion, but it's the like you said the fashion industry well, we've, selling sets to the children. We've been we've been we've been programmed by the music industry, films, television especially, right? With with songs. I mean, let let's pick a song out here. I don't know how much longer we've got. Let's pick a song out here. Get down on it by Cool and the Gang. Now, yeah, we know it's about sex, but it's about anal sex. It's not about sex, it's about anal sex. That's what it's about. Listen to the words. Next time it comes on the radio, listen to the words. What are you going to do if you really don't want to dance with your back against the wall? Get your back up off the wall and let's dance. Listen to the words subliminals. Suggestion. Right. Oh, right, this is... Um, Andrew Peake's book comes around the country talking. Um, he actually comes from the Wirral and he wrote a book and it's called A Guide to Your Extraordinary Secret Self. Very interesting book. Um, he came to do a talk at Truth Juice last year. I bought the book off him and I went, oh no, I can't believe that. A subliminal there. And apparently, when you write a book, you go to a publisher and the publisher gives you a website address with loads of different images on and says pick your image you know and he, he picked that one but just here is the word sex I want you to have a look at that later there it is it's in that image there okay it's very faint but it's there music no I've got, got to finish off in a few seconds, but I just want to see. Uh, oh, yeah, pull back a bit. Whoops. Now, this is advertising dance classes, junior jazz dance class for boys only. Right? So that boys dance for tots. Can anybody see a subliminal message there? Anybody not see what that is? Can you see at the back and you see what that is? It's a woman's torso with a pair of boobies, isn't it? And she's got a phone on. Nice. Here's another subliminal there. There's another one I wanted to bring up. Now you can all see that, can't you? Because they work on many, many different levels, these subliminals. Don't forget, it's aimed at your unconscious mind. Not your conscious. 7274, that's the subliminal. Think about it. Seven and two is nine. Seven and four is eleven. That says nine and eleven. Now you think I'm crap so stores there, but I'm not. Go onto the internet and type in Iggy Pop. 
bit of church up, right? And you'll see him, and he's got a clock over his left eye, and it's set at five to nine. Nine, eleven. Nine, eleven gets battered everywhere, by the way. Uh, Terminator films, caution, nine, eleven. This was before the attacks on nine, eleven. Um, every time you see a, a bomb going down, you know, a, a, a time bomb, right? It'll always stop at 11 and it, then it'll flash to somewhere else and a few seconds later it'll go back to the clock again, it'll be on 9. All the time, that happens every time there's a sequence of um, a bomb going off. It's it supposed to be a subliminal reminder of... It's, well, it's putting it fear. You see 9 11, everybody immediately thinks it's Twin Towers, thousands yeah. of people dying. Yeah. That puts you in a state of stress. What's the biggest killer? Stress. Stress. No, no, stress. 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 Stress causes heart disease. Stress causes cancer. Stress causes this. It causes that. Go to your doctor and say, what's the biggest cause of illness? You'll say stress. All this is all about stress and um, keeping you in the root shracker, which is your fear and sexual. Yeah. Now, I won't go into um, bus stops get smashed by kids for a reason. Right. I won't go into that now. Dave, you know those 9-11 things, most of them were years before the 9 -11. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. There's, yeah. A, there's, yeah. a, there's a site on YouTube Amazing. called Hidden in Hollywood, right? Um, write that down because you'll see how much 9-11 gets pushed. This guy's done, I think it's 54 10-minute videos on 9-11 in Hollywood films, not just Hollywood films. Uh, oh, we're going to Disney. Film. This is... Um, Jessica uh, is it Jessica Rabbit, is it? Oh, right, what's yeah. that all about? Now these are real images, by the way, I'm giving you. They're not fake. Hasn't that been paint shot or something? Is that really... That's, that, that was on the film. Right? I'll show you a couple more. This is a ride that's in Disney. <laughs> oh, bloody hell, yeah. What is going on? That's not only... Um, Sinister, but it's also, as somebody pointed out last yeah. time on this tour, that's also uh, creating um, sexual activity in that, with that kid because it's of its position long before she should be even thinking about those sorts of things. It's like paedophiles, isn't it? Well, that's what they are. That's what they are. Pedophiles. They're all paedophiles. Paedophile. This, this is the Lion King. A lot of you have already seen this. Can you see the word sex? Right, I'll just go along. There you go. This is the rescuers. Can anybody see anything? Once more, don't shout out what it is yet. Can anybody see anything there? Anybody see, not see anything there? Right, we'll have a look at the background and you'll find the pole movie going on in the background. Can you see it? Can you see it now? Come closer. <laughs> oh yeah, see it now. No. Nice <laughs> Not me. Disney. Yeah. Disney. Disney, since its inception in 1922, right, has promoted <coughs> pedophilic anal sex, all that sort of stuff. Uh, Lennononorfilms.com. You should go to. What's it called? Lennon Honor. L E N O N H O N O R films.com. Yeah, and um, Hollywood Insiders is a good one too. Oh, Hollywood Insiders are brilliant, there's quite a few of them. Um, Lennon on there has done so much work on so many different aspects. He's got very, very spiritual now. Um, with this thing, but the whole NLP, um, subliminal stuff, um, he done, he's done a, I think it's 16 or 18 hour insight into Star Trek and the sexualization of artificial intelligence. It's brilliant. Mm -hmm. 
Brilliant, br brilliant guy. Dave, would that, would that actually be, it looks like the tram in some way, would that be yeah. a... Sh that's the scene. shoot through the scene and that's yeah. just there in the that's background yeah. and you're not supposed to see it, but obviously yeah. you're still there. Right. Our brains, our conscious mind works on 25.9 frames per second. Yeah. Our unconscious mind is limited to it to, to, to yeah. everything in all the time. <laughs> everything. So uh, all of that goes past at a speed. Now, but the... Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it goes into the program because your yeah. unconscious mind is the program, a part of the brain. That's the part that makes everything run. It makes your heart beat. That's the part that makes you breathe. That, that's the part that makes you snotty when you've got a cold. Right? That's the program, a part of the brain. Right? And it go, that's where it goes. And if you're getting all these images, right, um, constantly when you turn the telly on, which you are, every time you turn that telly on, all these images are going past you, right? I'm going to show you one in a second. Uh, we all know, has everybody seen the 118 app here with the Ghostbusters? Yeah. yeah. We all know that one, don't we? Mm -hmm. Right, okay. Nobody's seen anything sexual in there, have you? You've never seen any willies or anything like that. Right, I'm going to put that on in a second. Right. These one way a criminal pornograph gets. Is that still running by the way? I hope so. <laughs> Dirty bastards. <laughs> right? Now we all know there's something untoward to worry about these two characters. Like porn stars, don't they? Right, right. Yeah, they look like porn stars. I want to show you why now. They are porn stars. Okay. Now we've seen we've seen that on our telly. Thousands of times. Those of you got telling you to watch ITV for one one eight, they're, they're on it, uh, and they're constantly every 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 advert comes. They're at the start, and then you get the adverts, and at the end, before the film comes back on, it's them two characters again, right? Okay. Now, don't forget, this is twenty four hours a day, and your children are watching this. Start it again. And where are they going into? Oh, hold on. A tunnel. Yeah, the fellow's got one as well, haven't he? Has he? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know. I think that could be a crease. We'll get that. We'll, we'll say that's a crease because it is a whopper. If it is, we'll get it. You know. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, if it is, yeah, I'm not going to the toilet when he's going. <laughs> right? But this guy here, I'll just go, I'll start it again, and you can actually see it in full splendor. Your children have been watching that, and you sat there and let them. What I'm here for, folks, this group is all about solutions. I'm here to try and offer a solution that you wake up to what's going on, and you take action. Right? You take action, and you let these dirty bastards, pardon the French, know that you know it's going on, and you can see it, and you've had your eyes open. There's another part of the talk that goes into your hearing as well, and other senses, right? Uh, but this is just the, the visual thing I'm talking about tonight. You need, we need to do something about it. It's no good one complaining, right? It need, for these buggers to take any notice, well, they need 50, 60, 70 complaints, uh, right? That's when the ASA come in and say, oh, no, there's something that's wrong there. But if they only get two people or three people, Nothing happens. So me on my own, every time I see one of these, ringing them up, makes no difference. You need to tell your friends. Anybody have a different idea of, or a different perception of what's going on in packaging now? Do you all have a, a different perception than you did before you walked in? Yeah, it's all by my eyes. Uh, yeah. Anybody so still, still British can't see? British humour is based on... Um, Sort of innuendo, isn't it? You have to write back. But not sexual like that. That's not you, that's not you. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying like, that's the advertising. Yeah, 
That's not in your end of Ken Dodd is not attack Ken Dodd was not attacking <coughs> your unconscious mind. That is that is your kids are seeing that these things have gone into other things that uh, deeper again <coughs> in the second and third part of the talk. But anyway, that's me finished because I know Rob wants to get out. Yeah, yeah,